friends, I was just looking at my bean plants. I wanted to see how they were growing. And I'm noticing that they're still growing some roots. But looking at my bean plants made me think of a story that I really like. And I'd like you to sit down with me, get comfortable, and let's read a story. This book is called One Little Bean. Hmm. What do you think that is? Look at that picture. Yeah, I think so too. I think that might be a bean. Boy, let's go inside and take a quick picture walk. Let's see what we see. And we can make some predictions. Remember that a prediction is like a guess. What we think might happen. Oh, there's a bean. Looks like he's, where do you think he is? Huh, looks like he might be on the ground or on the grass, right? Oh boy, uh-oh. He looks like he might feel a certain way. How do you think he might feel? Huh, let's turn the page and see what else we see. Oh, there's a bean. Looks like he might be in the dirt. Huh. All right, so let's get comfortable and let's get ready to read One Little Bean. One little bean fell on the ground. Ping! No, he fell on the ground. I'm scared, cried the little bean. He's feeling scared. Look at his face. Oh no. Wonder what's gonna happen. He feels scared. What do you think is gonna happen to him? Let's turn the page. The good earth said, don't be scared, little bean. I will cover you with my blanket. Do you know what that blanket is? What is the earth covering the little bean with? Yeah, that's right. He's covering the little bean with soil. And remember that soil is like dirt. The cloud said, it's okay. I will look after you with the cool, soft rain. Look at the cloud. It's raining. What is rain? If we remember from our last unit, rain is Water, that's right, rain is water. And look, how does the bean feel now? Look at his face. I think he's feeling happy. Boy. The bugs in the earth said, don't worry, little bean. We will be your friends. Oh, the bugs are his friends. And look. I think he doesn't feel scared anymore. He feels happy. Maybe even calm. He's definitely feeling in the yellow. Pop! Out of the little bean came a green shoot. It grew up through the earth. What's happening? What's happening to the little bean? Think for a minute. What do you think is happening to the bean? Hmm. If you said growing, I agree with you. I think he's growing too. What will happen to me, cried the little bean. Oh, and if we look, he's growing bigger and bigger. Then the sun smiled and said, don't worry, little bean, I will shine my light on you. And that light is called sunlight. The bean is getting sunlight from the sun. And the wind whispered, I will blow my gentle breath on your green leaves. What's happening to the bean? Wow, it's really growing. So let's think, it got water, it got soil, it got sunlight, and now it's getting air. 
wow, this plant is getting everything it needs to grow. Let's turn the page. Hello, little bean, said the bee and the butterfly. We will sing and dance for you. Oh boy, that's so nice. And look at the bee and what do you notice? Is he a little bean anymore? No, you're right. If you said he's a big plant, then you're right. Wow. So look, the big, the, the little bean grew into a big plant. Wow. So in this book, we learned that the little bean needed soil. He needed sunlight and he needed water and he needed air that's all around us to breathe and to grow. That was a great story and I hope you liked it too. And I want you to think, what did he need to grow? Can you remember? What did he need to grow? Tell your father. Tell your mom, tell your dad, tell somebody next to you, what did the bean need to grow? All right, bye friends, see you next time.